Greetings. I am a dragon alchemist, and allow me to entertain you. We're back in Fallout 4, where I have finally reached Diamond City. It looks like a bit of a mess, but it's civilization, if you can call it that. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Yeah, thanks for that, kid. That's really comforting. A free paper? Sounds like quality. I'm serious. It's Not quite what I was going for. You should read up if you're sticking around. Yeah. Who are the Institute? Institute? Fully? I need more information. I mean, I got a bit from Dan's, but I always need more. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing, though? Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. Yeah. I, well, I've seen the sense. I. I have seen the one guy trying to replace the other. I don't believe all of it is due to them, but they are out there. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. The synthetic truth. Yay, the news. <clears throat> October 2287 The Synthetic Truth by Piper Wright Noodles. We all eat them. We all love them. I certainly do, at least. And Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years. From the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's program Japanese, to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl, to the scalding tang of each delicious mouthful. The ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just after 5pm, enjoying a dinner I had so many times before. That's when I noticed our own very Mayor McDonough sidle up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles. The shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond Cities almost 60 years ago. On an uncharacter uncharacteristically warm May evening in 2229. As they sat around the, this very same counter. But that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles. When the bar served not noodles, but ice cold new colas, frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night, he facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening, although some of the city school residents certainly could have, had they not been forcibly removed, thanks to Mayor McDonough's anti ghoul decree of 2282. Well, Mayor McDonough's not getting on my good side at the time. But there is a one person among us who does remember distinctly the events of that evening. Respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne who recounted her story in a public occurrences exclusive interview. Oh, I was there all right, sitting right at the bar. Sure as you're sitting in front of me right now. 22 years old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall. We all were. So it was the harm. And let me tell you, that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day. Said he was from out west somewhere. It didn't really matter. What did matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful until it wasn't. 
Eustace counted, uh, continued her account of that evening. In the moment when things turned to sinister, and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We had been drinking and carrying on must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed a little drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. And something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face, all in an instant. And then his cheek started twitching, kind of funny. And I remembered watching him, clear as, as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then blam! He shot Henry, the barman, right in the head. He didn't hesitate, he didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually as if he were paying him for a drink. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing is, of course, the infamous event known as the Broken Mask. When the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans, since. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot two, three or four other people too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Het Carter, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. It seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid. Gone crazy. And he lay there like a dead crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic in the metal. This was one of the earliest things to see, and we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was then we all knew. The Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now. Among us. It was never determined precisely why the Sith noticed Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute, who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek. It was never meant to kill anyone, but at that time, the why hardly seemed important. But important, what mattered was that the humans of the Commonwealth had truly been had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery. Using a model of Sith even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Which brings us to noodles. Specifically, the noodles consumed by Mayor McDonough last Wednesday night, the same spot that Mr. Carter the Sith went haywire and mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours sharing an experience the people of Sun Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race. They were wrong. Are we? Well, that was certainly an interesting read. One of the longer ones, too. But it does inform things around here. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his with her and her perfect hair. her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Around well, here, we call your haircut the scab special. A little flecks of blood, give it a personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. Yeah, not interested. Thank you. Not today. Later then. You won't regret it. You don't even see my hair, pal. I'm wearing a bloody military helmet. You have no idea what you're talking about. You're just trying to drum up business. Be patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Lovely bedside matter, sir. But, uh, facial reconstruction? Facial reconstruction? What's that? It's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. Nope, not really. Little radiation potion, uh, poisoning, little damage, but not actually in need so of a doctor. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. 
Yeah, don't have to worry about that last part for me. I don't use the chems. Not interested. Very well. The uh, bullet holes and the radiation poisoning, Why that's on the list. I'll get to you in a second. So, you're Takahashi, are you? You must go out, do yourself a favor, and just say yes. It's all he understands. I am so tempted. I shall. Tell me a joke. Okay, that went nowhere. Yes? Noodle cups. For 52 caps? I... As much as I like noodles... I'll make my own for at that price, thank you. How do you people afford this? Who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles across the Yeah, ahem. <clears throat> you then. So. You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Yeah, what's a swatter? What's a swatter? <laughs> rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it, it used to be that this whole place a stadium and two teams would meet and play a game called baseball one team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats and and the best bats were called swatters true fact yeah i'm not much of a baseball guy but even i know that's not Baseball. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. <laughs> right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? Let's go with the actual rules. There were balls, strikes, three bases, and home runs. You kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. Yes. None of this beating people to death nonsense. I like my version better. Yeah. Now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? Well, it's after the apocalypse. You can make your own new games. I'll take a look, sure. No one's Feel stopping you. Hmm? Alright, I don't have much interest in buying actual swatters. Or melee weapons, as it is. I am interested in the wood shipment, though. I do intend to do a lot of settlement building. And unfortunately for me, that's going to take wood. A lot of wood. Yeah, you can have the shoddy. I, I don't need it. Pull. Uh, take the spare machine gun. Well... He about cleaned out my uh, inventory on that. And he's probably going to clean out my armor inventory, too. Uh, well, not that. I'm going to sell... Uh... Yeah, yeah, he, he's going to take that, then. Just remembered I got the chameleon piece. Hmm... I don't think I have anything else. Everything else, I'm just gonna store inside the settlement. Yeah, that, that looks about it. I could sell in 308 rounds. Well, 38 rounds, not the 308s. I am using the three, uh, 308s, but the 38s, I've got no use for. But I do pick up a lot of them. Like I said, scavenge work. Absolutely so thirsty. useful. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. Yeah, I got a few to spare, pal. Hey, Sheffield. So thirsty. New Coca Cola. Yeah, here you go, pal. Here you go. So gracious of you, sir. I'm sure it's not every day someone shows him such kindness. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, and I leveled from that. I Aswata, the game changer. Well, apparently one Nuka Cola is all I need to level up. I can get behind that. Alright. New guy, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, 
I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Yeah, you know weapons? So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Okay, this guy does know what he's talking about. I do like the mods, but I prefer let's to make my have. own. Feel free to test the grips. Alright. <clears throat> let's see what you're... Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Look, big boy shoots an additional mini nuke for the price of one. I only got three mini nukes, though. The price tag, though, is out there. I don't intend to buy anything. I'm really just window shopping here. But, boy, oh boy. Nah, El Faithful, not. Nah. Unless you intend to do a lot of headshots with a sniper rifle with this thing, I don't see it being particularly useful. Power armor frame. I guess you can equip more power armor with this thing. More human protection from either humans or super mutants. Glad to know. Aluminum, copper gear, screws. Yeah. I'll keep you in mind in the future, pal. You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Uh. Yeah. Why? Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Yes, I'm human, but uh, let's go with sarcastic lady. No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Yeah. Hey, Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Yeah. I'm human. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. It was worth it. It was worth what it. What kind of business you run in here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. Yeah... Crazy Murda, Piper mentioned you. Sure, let's take a look. Everything you need. Okay, I guess you're the one who deals with the junk and stuff. Oh, I didn't intend to buy that. Oh well. I have no need for junk at the moment. Self-prescribed chem, as recommended by me, myself, and I. Prescriptions filled right here. Anything you need. Ooh, looking for work? Looking for a job, if you got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking Rad X or Rad Away. Yeah, you've got my attention, pal. Let's a go for it. Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. I think you may have been sampling your own product. I also recall this guy had a hey, job. Mo. It's like I can swallow a little straight. more stopping power. Uh, stainless steel nails, my friend. Yeah, looking got for any work. work. Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? Little on the short, uh, little side, but I'm not going to ask for more because Codsworth's here. But at the same time, how do I know they're not going to just be ash or in the swamp? A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. 
I gave up alcohol after settling down here. Doctor said Watch I shot my liver. Bounties. Hey, swatta swatta, swatta can hit. Boom. Open notice to anyone with a gun and some ambition. Radar activity is on the rise near Andrew Station. They have money, gear, supplies. Everything stolen from honest, hardworking people. Keep what you kill. No other reward given. Oh man, you got a robot butler? I want a robot butler. <laughs> Don't we all, pal? Don't we all? Let's see now. Where is this Andrew Station? It's quite some distance away. So that may have to wait. All Diamond City, right here. All right, that looks to be it for the main market area. Hey, Scaver, got plenty of Brahmin meat on the books. Yeah, Brahmin Wait, meat. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes we get weird stuff from the caravans too. Weird stuff. Weird stuff. Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk bloat flies, brad stags. It's all protein. <clears throat> Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. Brad stag and Mirelurk, I can understand. I like a good crab or lobster myself. I especially like clams and mussels. Oysters on the occasion, but not right not now. Not looking to buy right now. Ugh. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the bulls. You just gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Depends on the paycheck. Is that a real bulk suit? Damn. All right, let's check out the dugout in. Let's see if the prices are better. Now. Mutated cows, mutated deer. Just a minute, yet. I am in middle of story. So then I am crossing the river, wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of uh -oh. all uh, Yeah, that's gonna have to be a lurk. A Meyer lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead. I forgot you were there, Yeti. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Well, that sounds lovely. The best part of Diamond City is honestly the lights. You can spot those bad boys for miles. Well. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. That's encouraging. This your bar? So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> not a bad strategy, pal. But, yeah, not, not interested in right food now. right now. You sure? Oh well. Also not looking for a room. Marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. Oh yeah, you're the guy who does facial reconstructions. Yeah, do you have a problem? Customer. Need a room? No, but uh what's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Yeah, not interested. Not today. Suit yourself. Thought you might have a job for me, but apparently not. Okay, as I was saying earlier. Brad stags, so mutated deer. Robin, mutated cows. What happened to the horses? Hey, I mean, there are wild horses out there. Brothers are looking for you. you would think there would be horses. Hey, there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. A combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Yeah, I passed that place, thank you. 
Ooh, science. Science! Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even? Ah, uh ha! -huh. You do want to talk about it. Uh, oh, look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear, if you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Uh, sure, but what is biology it about? Lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Um, Beta rays? Beta rays. No, not quite what we're looking for. The answer is gamma rays. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Yeah, they've been. I noticed what, what adapted. I must ask the question. To radiation? Oh, that's the perfect segue into the field trip portion of the lesson. Are you ready? Sure. Field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which I guess is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Sure. Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? Uh, sure. But you send kids out to hunt bloat, bloat flies? Get the bloat fly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. <laughs> Uh, Codsworth, hey. do we have uh, one? Here's what I have. We indeed. There's a use to that. Do. I'll eat my hat. It's got caps for Dr. it. Dr. Duff. I don't recognize you. Something I can do for you? We you don't remember. We were just talking. Don't you remember me? No, can't say I do. Did you need something from the science center? Lady, I'm having severe doubts. Yeah. I have this bloat fly gland. You asked for it. Oh, the field trip, of course. Oh, wonderful. Let me just take that. These glands are definitely the product of adaptation to radioactive exposure. Maybe our own insides have adapted as well. Wouldn't that be something? Here's a little reward for my new junior scientist. I suppose if it helps humanity survive. The definition of humanity would change a bit. But yeah. Hey, Dr. Duff. There's my junior scientist. Hope you're continuing your own biological field work. Okay, you got nothing left for me. All right, fair enough. What about you? Oh, you're sleeping. I'll, I'll leave you be. Now, the earlier question. I know that it was gamma ray uh, rays. The thing was, like I said earlier, Earlier recordings did not record my, uh... Word is, something bad went down in the old Museum of Witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. Okay, Museum of Witchcraft. But as I was saying, earlier on, recording. No audio. Not a thing. Nothing from my mic, nothing from the game. So, had to scrap that entirely. I guess this is second base. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. 
Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Yeah. Follow the freedom trail. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the synths. Newcomer, huh? Talk to and oh, third base. Okay, and I guess this is the run back to home. Oh, 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 oh. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Sim! He'll kill us all! Ooh. I'll no! Okay, show's over. There are no Sims in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks in your Oh boy, this is messy. Hey, he pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Yeah. What, what happened? Happened. happened. I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I. Uh, I need a minute. Well, things are certainly happening fast around here. in a very unpleasant way. Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. Yeah, what happened around here? I understand, here? officer. I just want to know what happened. You got bricks for ears? I said get the hell out of here now. What's everyone still standing still around? Still hating the dialogue system. Yeah. Things are not pleasant around here. All right. Yeah. Well, going along with my earlier thoughts. Yeah. Knew it was Gamma Rays, so I did just test out the new options to see what would happen if I got it wrong. I didn't get any experience for answering it right, though, so... Eh, whatever. Didn't feel like reloading just to say I got the right answer. And... To an even earlier thought, yeah, horses! I know we've got cars. We can make new cars. If uh, that Corvega auto plant certainly showed that. But in a pinch, why aren't there any horses? Well, I have just spent a good chunk of t uh, the day exploring Diamond City, getting to know the people. Some of them very colorful, some of it very disturbing. Well, when we come back, I'll be heading into public. Occurrences. And we'll be talking to Piper about whatever she has in mind. And after that, we'll be looking for that detective. For now, though, I hope I have entertained you. Farewell. <laughs>